Hey guys, so we're gonna talk about the Daniel Solium or the pork date room right now. So let's get it started. Let us start with the structure of the Daniel Solium. It consists of the scolex, which is the distinct head that contains suckers and aristellum, which is the end of the tail of the tapeworm, as an organ of attachment. The body is a strobili, which consists of proglottids, which contain a complete reproductive system. So how do they grow? Let's find out. Firstly, eggs, or graphic proglottids and feces, are passed into the environment. Second, embryotic eggs and other gravital proglottids are ingested by pigs. Third, oncospheres hatch and penetrate intestinal walls and circulate the musculature in pigs. Fourth, oncospheres develop in cystericity in muscles of pigs. Fifth, humans acquire the infection by ingesting raw or undercooked meat from the infected animal host. Fifth, the scolex attaches to the intestine. Then six, the adults then go through the small intestine. They then lay their eggs and the cycle continues. What are the effects if it enters the body? The long-term effects can form a cyst in our brain which can lead to many types of complications like seizures, epilepsy, and lesions on the brain. The infection with worms larvae from has worse consequences as the younger worms can migrate to the other parts of the body. It's also important to know that people who have been affected with said taper have self-headaches during the first few weeks of infection, before realizing years later that the worm has migrated into the new region, thus causing seizures. General signs and symptoms for early detections are abdominal pain, nausea, diarrhea, or constipation and last until the worm dies follow treatment like prazinquatel and albidenzol prescribed by the doctor as a nutritionist and dietitian of the coming future we are entrusted to make sure that people are aware of said dangers of these types of parasites that could be in their food in order to prevent this kind of things from happening the people should make sure to check if the pork they have purchased is properly sanitized and it has passed the proper standards of quality check and control and were purchased from a reliable source. Proper storage is another key in avoiding these parasites, so make sure to store the pork below freezing point so it can avoid the bacterial growth for they cannot survive in this kind of temperature. Always remember the key to a healthy life is prevention of getting sick, moderation and regulation on what you eat, and lastly, awareness of what you need in your body.